Um, are we seeing the same thing? <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Mom Judy. Hello. Welcome to our reaction channel. Today we're doing some more Daredevil. We're in season three, episode three. No good deed. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. Link to in the description box. So, last episode, Matt found out that Fisk has escaped. Mm-hmm. And this Dex guy, like, helped him out. Oh, yeah. So, no clue what that's about. And Karen still has hope that Matt is alive. Yes. But Foggy said something so sad. If Matt were truly alive, yes. he would have come to us by now. Yes. And which means Foggy's going to be pissed when he eventually sees that Matt's been alive for well, how long? Matt just needs to claim amnesia. Oh, <laughs> that's, um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about you guys for a few weeks. I lost my memory. But I came back, and then I found you. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. But true, I guess you could get away with saying that. Yeah, I couldn't because I mean I was alive, but I, did, I had can't remember. You know, temporary amnesia. Yeah, temporary memory loss. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just hope this gives Matt a purpose so he can stop being a stubborn, stupid butt. <laughs> oh no, the FBI got about. him back. What the hell happened? Ambush. Oh, Dex yes, must be FBI. He had an FBI on his yeah. back, but I guess I just assumed he was like pretending. Albanians, they tried to get me. They'll go for her too. My client is not implying that he knows how to reach a wanted fugitive. Ah. Make sure she's safe. Otherwise, it's like our deal falls through then. If she's not safe, I'm not gonna help you. Yeah. With intel. You nearly had me killed. Good men die tonight. He's like, not my fault. You will make their sacrifice worth something. When I guess or it's his fault. <laughs> our deal up your ass. Yeah, but you need that deal too, dude. Is Vanessa safe? We don't know. She's missing. Mm. Oh. So how'd you two meet? Kind of like you guys, actually. We were set up by our college. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, this is a date? Oh, Mitchell, did you not tell them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> really? Um, I, I'm sorry. I just... Sure, I understand. Oh, good. Then you won't give me any pushback when I tell you. You are staying away from this story. Look, it's not up for discussion. Enjoy the pie. She's like, <laughs> ah, I'm going you. anyway. I know. <clears throat> That's Karen for you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she... Don't, you can't try telling Karen what to do. She won't listen. What was it this time? Laughing mad? <laughs> Body mad. Body <laughs> mad? Whatever happened to Matt, it's not your fault. You have nothing <clears throat> to feel guilty about. But I gave him his suit. God is angry with you. Nah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now he's hallucinating you think Fisk. God knows you tried to kill yourself. No. That has nothing to do with this. Poor no. man. <laughs> he sounds it. like hell. He's like, I'm in hell. No. <laughs> in the end, you'll kill her too. Stop it. Just like your father. And stick. I said stop. Jeez. An mean... Electra. Yeah, but Matt, you're not. I'll die because of you, <laughs> No, they didn't. <laughs> they made their choices. Of course. Uh, sorry. Uh, who's She's in charge so here? Sissy. That's impressive, Matt. I know. I mean, how can you tell the beeps? Like, which beep is which number? So they muffed up a little bit there. The real question is, when you find me, what are you prepared to do? It's the FBI are protecting you. Maybe prison has changed me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe right this moment I'm giving the FBI information that will save lives. Or maybe not. Yeah, but routing out the Albanians made them lose lives. Oh, there My we go. Yep. 
Miss Mariana enjoys the art, and she can be very <laughs> insistent. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yes. Hmm. She can. See, that's why I loved her. I was gonna say, Matt does not look like he's dressed to belong in this. <coughs> no, I know. Booty. <laughs> it's only one way to stop me, but you're not gonna do it. Kill him. Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay, you Matt. Accomplice. Everything that's happened since you refused to kill me is on you. Oh, <laughs> jeez. He's blaming himself for everything. You can take him. Grab his gun. Come for me. I'm caged up. Yeah. <laughs> Unarmed. Sir. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it sucks to, you know, like lose your buddies, but, you know, when you sign on to be FBI or a cop, I mean, it's always a risk that, you know. Yeah, high risk profession. It is high risk that you could lose your life for sure. Yeah, but it's still <clears throat> not. No, I know I'm not, not meaning yeah. anything. I'm just saying, you yeah. know. It's the reality. It is a reality that, you know, that line of profession is just always at risk. You wonder who's making his food. Because <laughs> in prison you got, you know. Well, he was making his own fancy foods, it seemed like. <clears throat> no, that was in his brain. No. Oh, that's right. Losing them to protect someone like me must be particularly difficult for family. Loved ones. Mm. Know those fallen agents. Protect. He doesn't care, Fisk. I can never repay. You're making me anxious. Just eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. You get dinner most nights. This Tuesday? Pizza night. Pizza night. Julie gets broccoli with sausage, extra cheese. I tell her about my day. Good. Bad. She doesn't judge me, blame me. She's just there for me. Is he lying about that, Yonder? Just to get out of there? That's a good <laughs> guess. Yeah. Like how, what can I say to get out of here and get clear? Uh oh. Matt. Oh. Alright, why don't you let me know when you want to breathe? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woman. The feds will drop all charges against her. I swear, he's doing it all for her. I swear, Matt's always in a video game. Him and Frank, they're always in video games. Mm. But Matt's about the stealth goes. Oh my god. Of course, Jane, I'm saying he's doing some plank. Stop, oh. FBI. They have families, asshole. I'm not here. Uh, yeah, clearly he's not being. Oh. Look at that, he's dead. He was asking about the Albanian. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Did that guy just trip over another guy? I don't know. He's like, geez, stay down. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Be careful, Ow. Matt. Don't go too far. It's Bink. Oh shit, Fisk. No, look, I'm telling you. Goddamn Karen, I, I <laughs> told you not to do what? that. I didn't set out to. Stop. That's why she went and did it. I saw you at the hotel. Of course, of course I'm biased. Fisk tried to have me killed. He also killed Ben, which makes you as biased as me, by the way. If people <laughs> see your name oh, ben. and know your connection to Fisk, it compromises this. So don't tell me to back off, because I won't. Yeah, Karen never backs off. Right? When does she ever listen to anybody? You surely you know, know that by now, dude. Decades become this much of a pain in my ass. <laughs> I finally get my full hearing back. And the first thing I do <laughs> is <laughs> Fisk is out of prison. So you're suggesting that God set a dangerous mobster free just to spite you? <laughs> this claims to be helping the FBI. But they don't know him like I do. This claims, you mean the one in your brain? And according to you, people can't Oh, the change. lawyer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, they mean, <laughs> the one you've been envisioning? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot to talk to the lawyer. <laughs> oh, there's Julie. She, that's Dex. I know, a bottle of pills I was talking. I was being sarcastic. 
You know, oh. I said he had a girlfriend named Julie. I said, oh, there's Julie, his God. bottle of pills. I was like, Mom, this is dead. Oh, God. I got you. I got you. I'm so sorry. I was like, um, are we seeing the same thing? <laughs> I was being sarcastic. I'm so... Maybe that's Julie. That yeah, probably is. It's pizza night. Oh, see, he watches her. Pizza, yeah, but they're probably broken up or something. Or... Yeah, it's Pete. Oh, my God. Are you stalking her? Yeah, I'm wondering. My guess is um, they're broken up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, either that it's an ex-girlfriend or he doesn't even know her, <clears throat> but wants to know her. I don't know. Still creepy either way. I know. Oh, he's eating pizza too. This sex guy is weird. He is. Question, do you think it's creepier to stalk someone you know or stalk someone you don't know? I mean, both are creepy, but which one do you think is arguably creepier? Someone you don't know. Yeah, because at least someone you know, you have maybe like a reason for doing it. Obviously, there's no justifiable reason, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Probably looked like a potty little kid there for a second. Oh my God, he's, so <laughs> he's like, I'm not happy. <gasps> this isn't real. Aww. It's real. Aww. Matt Murdock isn't going to be a part of me anymore. <laughs> Leaving him behind. Don't. I need you to stay out of it and leave it to me. Well, don't tell Karen that. She's going to listen, dude. No, no. No. Yeah, there you go, Foggy. You to show up like this and say yeah. something like that and expect me to be cool Exactly. With You're my best friend, asshole. See, I was wrong to become your friend, <laughs> Matt, stop. I just stop. stop. Matt. There's something seriously wrong with yeah. you. Yeah. Yep. There is. Yeah, I know. At least he acknowledges it. Matt. Matt. I know. Matt is no longer in existence, Foggy. <laughs> I don't respond to Matt anymore. It's only dirt I went out. Get it straight, okay? Oh my god. Why do you do that? I don't know. So the devil is back. Discussion time. Yeah. Oh, Matt. How I... You frustrate me. <laughs> yeah. That's the word to describe Matt. Frustration. He... Well, this entire episode... <clears throat> he has been hallucinating Fisk. Oh, yeah. And Fisk, as in Matt's subconscious, has been telling himself... He blames himself for everything. Yep. Everything. Yeah. Literally everything under the sun. Matt's like, it's my fault. Yeah. Literally. <clears throat> oh, this random person over there, whatever you did, oh, it's somehow probably my fault too. <laughs> yeah. He's just like everything. He blames himself like for Fisk, you know, um, I don't even know. Why did he blame himself for Fisk again? What was he uh, even? I don't, I don't know, even it just remember. just doesn't matter. But just everything. Yeah. I can't even remember. I think I zoned out because I'm so frustrated with him. And he saw Foggy. But he was like, oh, hey, Foggy, I know I'm back, but... Uh, Matt's dead. Well, Matt's dead, and uh, we're not going to be friends anymore, okay? And yeah, it's was, over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. And you and Karen need to stay out of this. Tell Karen that, but don't tell her I'm alive, okay? <laughs> yeah, Great. right. Yeah, um, and yes, yeah, as if you could think you could tell Karen what to do. And um, then not tell Karen that you're alive. You know he's going to tell her. I know, and I was happy that Foggy stood up to him, because he was like, Matt, yeah, you can't just show up. And then tell me this. Be like, you can't just show up and be like, yo, we done. It's just, it's, like, it's, <laughs> it's just, he's so, um, what's the word? I mean, self-pitying, yes, but I feel like there's another word. I can't think of it, but not just brooding, but like, I don't know. Yeah. But he's just, mm, you guys, this might frustrate you like he does me. I just, because I just want him to stop, like, I just want him to stop blaming himself for everything. I just, because he's like, I can't put my friends in danger. Oh, yeah, because he's like, we shouldn't have even ever, like, been friends in the first place. And I'm like, oh, this bull. <laughs> and I'm like, man, just stop it. Okay, um, <laughs> it's because I care about, like, Karen and Foggy and Matt. And I, I don't want him to, like, isolate himself and push people away because it's not what's going to help him. You know? It's not. He thinks it is. It's not. But again. Okay. Um, yeah, so Dex is FBI, which I thought he was because the back of his the shirt or whatever said FBI, but because of his skill set, I had assumed he was like a rogue, like undercover, 
or like not with the FBI. He was probably a prior like some special military like black type. ops or yeah. something. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he showed up at the end of last episode, that's what I initially was thinking. But no, he was just part of the FBI. But yeah, he's watching this woman. Is it Julie? Oh wait. Whether her name is really Julie or yeah. not. Yeah, does he know her or Yeah, not? is it an ex-girlfriend or is it just some girl he watches? Right. Or? And you were so right when he told the therapist. He made that up about how they have pizza night together, which well, technically they do. Well, they do, right. But as in, he was telling them, he was telling the therapist that, that He tells he her talked, everything. But that's not... Probably sits in his car and talks. I mean, he's taking some himself. drugs. himself. Yes. Or some kind of pills. Yeah, I don't know what's his deal. Yeah. And Karen's investigating um, the, the the penthouse that mm-hmm. uh, you're staying, at. staying in. <clears throat> and uh, something about <clears throat> the Kazemis and how Fisk's lawyers, like, they're part of this group that, like, own it or something. So we'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, I understand. I can't, I mean, that's the thing. Because people, like, the public, they don't know that Fisk is cooperating with the FBI. So... You know, I totally understand it. Like, you got this criminal, and now he's in this fancy penthouse. I get why you're like, what the heck? You know, they're obviously trying to make it as prison-like as they possibly can, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's still, like, a nice, swanky penthouse. Yeah, I mean, you said, like, the, you know, a chair and a table and probably a bed, and that's about it. Yeah, you know? but it's still nicer than prison. But at least he has his white walls he can look at. Yeah, but no, but I'm just saying. I know. I understand why people are pissed. Even though, yes, they're trying to make it as. I mean, he has lots of space he can move yeah, around but in compared it, to the little prison cell. Yeah, and just and just a lot of different things, you know. Yeah, um, but people don't know that he's like cooperating because I get it. The FBI doesn't want to go public with that. No. Oh yes, Matt's contemplating killing Fisk. Mm-hmm. But pff, come on, Matt. Seriously, you really gonna do that? Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. One thing I noticed, though, Matt has to go back to his roots because he doesn't have a suit. Mm. He's got to go back to the black mask. Oh, and, that's right. You know? I was thinking about that this episode. That's I was right. Like, he doesn't. He needs to go find his one buddy and get a new suit made. Yeah. But okay, that was it. Ah, oh, you guys. It's probably what he needed money for. It's probably why he stole Foggy's wallet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh he did steal Foggy's wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Foggy. No, to match up and be like, hey, yo, our friendship's over. You're never going to see me again. I'm dead. I also totally just stole your wallet. Uh, no hard feelings, right? <laughs> like, that's Matt. <laughs> Jesus. He's so, okay, if I were Karen or Foggy, I'd be like, screw you, Matt. I'm done with this. Yeah, but he won't know Matt took it. He's in a bar. You could probably hear someone else just pickpocketed him. Still. <laughs> no, but I just be like, no, Matt's a crappy friend. Ever since season two, Matt, is, he's just, he's not a very good friend, is he? Like, I'm going to say it like this. Compared to, like, someone like Jessica, like her and Trish, I'm telling you, I mean, we've only seen, like, season one of Jessica Jones and then De- and Defenders. But, you know, I, we kept joking that they were, like, the true love story of the season, their friendship, their sisterhood. At least Jessica makes fr- time for Trish and their friendship, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Matt, why can't you do the same for Karen and Foggy, yo? I don't get it. I mean, they're different people, sure, but still. But, oh, okay, Josie. Well, I hope Matt stops. <laughs> I can't even all season of Matt like this. I hope he just stops acting this way at some point. Um, but, okay, Josie. But at least it makes it enjoyable because then I can kind of, like, hate watch Matt. Um, but, yes, I hope you have a dry reaction, though. I hope none of you are mad at me. Um, but, anyway, yes, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not sure full length reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon, and I'm a beautiful one for today. See you Good guys. Night.